Uh -huh. Should we start with some channel news? Let's do it. There's a light in our hallway yeah, I was that is Julia just about that. flickering really on and off situation. nonstop and it's in our room so <laughs> at night it's like pitch black too there's a bright ass light on uh, pitch back bright light pitch back, pitch back bright light i wanted to talk about something else oh remember we have so my dream as a kid was to always get the craftmatic adjustable bed i remember the course was really well watch tv read or just relax Craftmatic helps to reduce neck, back, and leg strain your flat bed can cause. And I would ask my mom for them, and she thought they were just f like medical beds for old people, which maybe they were, but really like laughed, like laughed about it. Like it was, I was not only was I not gonna get it, but like, but, like she, she was laughing was, like, at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we got one as soon as you know we could afford one. It's not, a, it's a Serta, and the base adjusts, and that's actually very common now. So I was ahead of my time, and but I was also thinking about that one night where we like squished it all the way up, you know? So it's like And then we couldn't, we couldn't make it flat. And we were getting into the biggest fight because I was like trying to fix the cord under the bed and it was hot and I was really pregnant yeah. and we essentially had to sleep in a taco. We had to, like, it we had to was sleep like at the this. bottom going across. And it was all my fault and joke was on me. We were like calling customer service Tempur-Pedic, like expecting them to be open 24 seven. We're like, this is bull we can't sleep. <laughs> anyway, that was a fun night. I was so ready to gain my independence and prove that I could make it on my own. I found an apartment. I put the deposit down. And even though Sam wasn't happy, I knew this was a big step that I needed to take. BG was working on himself as well. He took a break from the group. I just wanted to take a little time to myself to be happy. So that he could grow after dealing with his issues with Camilla and Jordana. So when's the last time y'all hooked up? Last night. Are you ashamed of that? This is the guys they hooked up last night. No one had grown more than Chloe though. She was a new person with a new boyfriend. She's a manifestation of the work that I've done. Thanks for making our girl happy. Madison was adjusting to a new life too. She moved to LA for her producer fiance, and they were planning a wedding. Madison, I can't wait to call you my wife. We were all working to figure out what was best for our futures, and it was becoming clear that some people were going to be left behind. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Epic. In case it gets dinged. We should figure out how many episodes are left. Of this season or of the whole, the rest of the show? Yeah, total. I can tell you right now. Tell us. So what episode are we on? 4.15. So we have 10 more of this. Mm -hmm. Then there's 12 in. So 22 more episodes. 22 more episodes. That's 22 more weeks. Uh huh. That's like basically six months. <laughs> we got plenty of time. Yeah. Fuck, forgive me, I've been thinking so complicated. I feel like he's added a couple necklaces. Thanks for everything that you've done. I had such a great birthday. I had such a great week this week. Sure. Yeah. Hi. Hi. This is so cute. Thank you. I mean, it looks like Elsie's apartment. <laughs> this is so cute. Is this Elsie's apartment? Can I sit in this? It's dirty. I built that myself. Did you really? Yes, I did. I screwed it in with a little. What's it called? The screw drill. Screw drill? No. A wrench. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so proud of you. To Juliet's new apartment. Woo! Yeah, cheers yeah. to Bland. Hey, cheers, cheers to Bland. Woo! <laughs> I like those jeans. Thank 
Oh, oh. <sighs> we all just groan like old ladies when we said I don't understand how exhausted I am after my art show. I'm like, ugh. So Jordana threw an amazing art show to honor her late brother. This is what I have been working on so hard. And look, it all paid off. It's gorgeous. I'm so very proud of you. It was a really cool event, and it was nice to see a softer side of Jordana. I'm so proud of you. It That's was like, so good. Sam bought some art. How many pieces did he get? 16, I believe. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> yeah. Girl, make your money. Damn. OK, so you guys got to fill me in on how was Jordan's show. So nice of him. I know. Fun. I wonder how much they cool. were. Everybody was there. Wait, so if everyone was there... How much do you think they were? He bought 16 pieces of her art. It's got to be like half the whole show. The painting was $10,000. It was? Mm -hmm. I bet he spent over sixteen thousand dollars on yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Wow, that's nice, Sam. Should we date Sam? Isn't that weird? Like, don't they literally hate each other? Honestly, I just I wanted to invite her to like clear the air and just be done with that drama. I don't care about Brandon. And she was like, I agree. Like, I think that Brandon was lying to both of us. I just want to clear the air with you because all the tension was over someone that's irrelevant. No, he, was, he was playing both sides. No, he was playing both sides. Like, everything he did was, like, ridiculous. It hurt your feelings. It hurt my feelings. Because there was... No. So I was like, let's just put it behind us. Good. and The best uh, it could possibly go. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. I think that they're trying to make amends. Good. I mean, I Brandon hasn't really been good. around, so it's, like, oh, probably yeah, time. Speaking of trying to make amends, I ended up talking to Kelsey. How was your conversation with Julianne? Kelsey's like, who's Kelsey? She says the person that doesn't want people to be friends, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. Red flag. Honestly, like, the best conversation we've had in, like, six months. Yeah, Kelsey and I were finally cool again. When I first wanted to move in with Sam, I was like, I don't I don't even know if I can stand being around him. And like it turns out I can't. I really do think you living alone, it's gonna be good for you. And if Sam is the one, then you guys will figure it out. She said that she appreciated me like reaching out. So that was all good. It was a good conversation. I just don't know why I opened up about my personal life that much. Yeah. It's not something I need to be telling everybody sure. that I'm not it's, even friends with. It's easy, though, to share something with someone that you used to share with them. Yeah. I was really actually surprised she, like, vented. And I really think it's good that she's moving out. Just, yeah. I think independence-wise, it might be a good thing. And hopefully they can work through whatever's going on with them. But yeah. what's going on with you and Sam? I mean, it's just... It's just a lot of tension right now between us. We're not getting along. It just sucks that their relationship could work out, maybe, if they actually just talk to one another. I think she's just too young, young maybe. maybe. Yeah, she's on a different path right now. Uh -huh. She wants to go to LA. She wants to do her business. She wants yeah. to do this and that. And Sam's already like, I have everything. Why do you need to do all that? Which kudos to her. I'm glad. Yeah. Do you guys think they're going to break up? Did you ever eat kudos? Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Those were really good. They were like granola bars like covered in chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh really? That was a confident yeah. I think so. He's vented to me, she's vented to me, and I don't wanna be in it. Even though things are weird with Sam and I right now, I want things to still be normal with us. Like just because I moved out doesn't mean I'm never gonna go over there. We are still together. Yeah. I just need my own space where I can go and be productive and when I need it, just rest. I'm not just going to give up just because I want more space. That's what a relationship you know? is. You have to put in effort when things get hard. I know. And I do. Amanda is the queen of just like telling Julia what she wants mm -hmm. to hear. And just like time. the most cliche things. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. even know what she's thinking before right. she says them. Like, she's like, that's what a relationship is, you know? You give and take, baby girl. You're sad, baby girl. So my family is actually planning a trip to Paris. I haven't gone in like seven years, so I really feel like I need to go. But I want Sam to come with me. So invite him. To meet everyone and see where my roots are and to get out of town and spend some time together in the most romantic city in the world. Like, doesn't that sound amazing? Can I speak really freely? Yeah. Sam hates Europe, okay? <laughs> and you should know that. 
You're sad, baby girl. In with your relationship with Sam is you guys go on these trips to mask what's really going on in your relationship. Oh, baby, you're right. Keep embracing your loved ones. We only have so much time with them. It's all about who you spend it with. Baby girl. <laughs> I agree with that. But at this point, you want him to go meet your entire family? All your French cousins? <laughs> like, what? Fake Rihanna? Or is it Rihanna? So what have you been up to? Um, playing tennis with you. <laughs> These guys are my favorite. <laughs> oh man, if I ever wear a bracelet like that, you can just punch my face. I would so much rather hang out with Sam than that guy. You'd want to hang out with Sam? Yeah, he seems pleasant. pleasant. Sam is nice, but hanging out with him seems like a chore. It could be whatever you make of it, <laughs> because he would probably he, be down for whatever. He is putty in your hands. Yeah. Like, Sam, you want to stare at the wall? He'd be like, yeah. yeah. Down. So what have you been up to? Bro, just doing the crypto stuff, man. <laughs> mm, that's, oh, that's, uh, no. It's definitely on brand for you, bro. This coin go up. Yeah. yeah. I lose $50,000. There's one of my friends complaining. They lose money, they get mad at you. They win money, they love you. I think it's fun. Yeah. Going to Paris to visit my family in a couple of weeks. Wanna join? Yo, so Juliet might be going to Paris. I don't know when she planned it. She told me about it like a few days ago, but you know, this is her first time inviting me, but just like wanna go via text. <laughs> what? Isn't that something what? And as a couple of you want to go or not? Uh, I mean, at the very least, like call or be like, hey, it would be really fun if you came. Just want to come. Just randomly text me that. Is that not like kind of strange to you? Well, what like, was the last time you guys spoke? Like, how other relationships have ever been. It's starting to seem like she's just seeing how far she can push and where there's no consequences. First, like, I'm moving out. Okay, Sam's not gonna yeah. do anything about it. Oh, I'm going to LA. He's not gonna do anything about it. Yeah. Now I'm going to France. I mean, she did invite you. Yeah, and she also yeah, no can do whatever she wants right. to do. Right. Like, Mike's like, are you gonna really let her travel without, like, showing her who's boss? Yeah, without, like, having her show you her itinerary, like, two weeks in advance. And now she's, like, inviting me via text. She's like, what do you want to f invite? He wants, like, a formal invitation. He wants to be at, like, step one of planning the yeah. trip that like they're going together, yeah. not just an afterthought, which I get. But I'm just making fun, and that's our job. Mm -hmm. So just leave mm -hmm. me alone in the comments. I don't really know if it's gonna work out. Yeah, no, it's not. it's not, we know. Mm -hmm. We've already seen you on a date. Coming up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need a shot. Who's the best? We have the wedding in Siesta Key. We're back. Do you even wanna try? Stop, he, stop. <laughs> She's going for an Emmy, yeah. a reality yeah. Emmy. They're called Remy's. That's a good idea. Why don't we make that up? Doctor, how are you doing? You feeling all right? Yeah. All right, very excited. We're going to get to see your baby right now. Yay! We were all so excited for Madison when we found out she was pregnant. She had a lot going on. You're about 13 weeks, so that's fantastic. There's the baby's head. That's There's crazy. the baby's body. So much bigger than last time. Do you want to know the gender of the baby? Let's keep it a secret yeah, for we'll now. That's our baby. Oh, wow. I'm on such a hot seeing a little tiny. What did you say the size of a playing card? A playing card or like a lemon. So that's like... It's like a head. little He's, alien. It's all head right now. And until we tell everyone what the sex is, we'll just keep calling them tiny. Yes. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. It's crazy how fast this all happened. Mm -hmm. The baby is due on New Year's, so we have to get married this year if we want to do that for my parents. Madison's dad is a little old fashioned, so when Madison found out she was pregnant, he really wanted Ish and her to get married before the baby was born. 
Thoughts on that? I don't really feel like it's necessary. I think like it's just as much of a commitment to have a kid together than to like sign the papers. And I was actually just having this conversation because my best friend is not married to, to her partner and she has a kid with him and I was with her mom the other day and her mom really wants them to get married, is very vocal about it. And I sort of feel like it's a little bit old fashioned. What and do you think? Those are your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't care. It's just about the love. It's not about the papers. I wanted here in LA is booked. Do you have another spot? No, but I think I want to have the wedding in Siesta Key. I'm not against it. I just, you know, I can't really be around. Yeah. To and help just, you. No, well, we'll just, see. We'll see what venues are available that you like. Yeah. Madison had been pretty alone in LA. Yeah. Her friends and family were all in Siesta Key and Ish worked a lot. So basically she was planning her wedding all on her own. But I can't travel in November and December. So I have to have yep. the wedding by October. It's okay, it just means I have to kind of. Well, it might be a little more expensive because we're rushing some stuff. I realize that, but I also, and yet, like, I never you know. want to have to overthink finances when it comes to this wedding. So what do you mean by that? So we're gonna take some money from my dad and it's gonna be fine. We're not yet planning the wedding in Florida, so I do have to get back to Florida soon and start planning. Yeah, well, we'll get you back there. It's a lot, yeah. but. Okay, well, we can do it. We just stay positive-ish. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Cardio. Up. Just picked us up some food. Yeah, what'd you get? Some vegan sandwich for you. He's like, you didn't even invite me to get lunch. <laughs> yeah, so how's the new place and everything? You like it down there? Oh my god, yeah. he's getting right it's into it. It's different. You still need to do a lot of stuff, but we'll just do have more out. days. Yeah. I'll be like pretty settled. Oh, that's, I'm so mm -hmm. happy for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to talk about that text you sent me, you know, about Paris and everything. Yeah. I'm um, excited for you to come. It's going to be so much fun. No, no, Julia. You're not reading the room right. <laughs> I mean, it just, it just sounds like a lot and, like, not really the right time, honestly. I don't know. I feel like you kind of act like everything's totally fine, and then we, like, have, like, awful communication, then, hey, let's go to Paris. So how, how do you propose we go about this situation? I mean, like, how, how, what can I do to make you feel like this isn't weird? Like, can't this just be like before when I didn't live here? Not really. I, I wanted to try to get back to normal. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. She's just backing him into a corner mm -hmm. and then is going to cause basically him to dump her and she can play the victim. Mm -hmm. But she dumped him. Mm-hmm. I thought that might be fun for us to do, like get out of town. I know, but it's just like the manner in which you like invited me, just like a random text message. I didn't feel that special, like, hey, wanna come to Paris? What do you want me to like, write you a love letter? I just thought us going on this trip could be good for us, like we could find us again. Don't you think we should have probably had a serious conversation before and got to the like underlying issue? I don't know, it's just strange, you know that, like, this is not normal. I never speak up for myself in these situations with you, and I'm just telling you, I don't want to go to Paris. Okay. I told my entire family you were coming. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I don't really see the point. Mm, that could have been taken from anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Sam doesn't really see the point in a lot of stuff. <laughs> Take that carrot sandwich you got me and shove it up your ass. Julia. Oh no, oh no, what? Just gotta, just gotta do work. Sam is kind of serpent looking. Mm -hmm. You see that? Serpenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he is very relaxed. At least she came to a complete stop. Like, some people drive angry. 
cap. Like, like, I, I want to go, but Camilla's going to be there. Jordana's going to be there. I don't want my presence leading to some drama. These chats, like, I needed yeah, him mom, to have you need a new mentor. someone else. You need a new it's... mentor. And go. This is my recipe book, guys. You're so organized. Thank you. I found a location for Madison's party. It's downtown. It's a little bit smaller, but I think it'll be really intimate. Okay, I cool. like that it's downtown. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's perfect. Exactly. Since Madison was coming back to see us to key to plan the wedding, Kelsey, Kara, and Jordana decided to throw her a party to celebrate everything going on in her world right now. Are you sure? I'm really in a Prosecco phase. This is so fun. I'm excited. I'm excited. I am too. I think it's gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's revolving around the baby, but I also do want to do wedding and bridal stuff. So I thought it'd be cute yeah. for us to have a little area set up so people can take Polaroids and we can put it all like in a scrapbook and give it to Madison. I oh, love that. Little I messages. Love that. Maybe yeah. one day someone will like me enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so who's coming? Yeah, do you have like a full list now? Yeah. Take everyone in the cab. Sam, Juliet. I did invite Brandon. Because I know that would mean a lot to Madison. Okay. Uh, what did he say? Um, he said, that's what's up. <laughs> actually, one of the people that thumbsed up it, which I was very surprised. Because I oh, haven't heard he from did. him in a minute. Yeah. OK, so he's coming? I, I would guess that that would mean he's coming. OK. Not awkward at all. So Jordana and Brandon used to sort of date. But they broke things off because it was too complicated. You guys really do have unresolved <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. You and Camilla need to figure it out. Then he hooked up with her without telling her he was pursuing things with Camilla again. I just want some time with you. See what can be repaired. So you think like a getaway is a good call? It's a step. And if that's not bad enough, when the secret came out. So when's the last time y'all hooked up? Last night. He acted like he was totally ashamed of her. Are you ashamed of that? So after everything that happened, Brandon decided to take a little break from pretty much everyone. Oh, really? no. I'm just, I'm literally never talking to him again in that way. If he wants to tell me he's sorry, he can tell me he's sorry, but I don't think I'm gonna like talk to you and hang out with you. I just hope everyone's mature enough to put everything aside yeah. for Madison because this is yeah, the 100%. last place you should start drawing. There's no way. Like, I hope people not. People are gonna like act up. At no, show. yeah, that's like ridiculous. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, ridiculous. yeah, no. Like a mark. Is this BG? I, I always think it's BG. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, but also Dredge. Dredge. It's like Drake. Drake's cousin, Dredge. No, Brandon. Why don't you oh, rap about funny. being sorry mm -hmm. and learning lessons mm -hmm. one day? Brandon. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you stop making rap music? <laughs> My bad. What you doing? I bought you some curry. I left it in the refrigerator. You working on something good? Yeah, absolutely, awesome. for sure. I just, you know, was focused on finishing. Yeah, my yeah. bad. What's going on? How you doing? Nothing. I haven't heard from you in a couple days. I wanted to stop by and check in and see how everything was going. You been getting out? Um, no, nah, I just been trapping in, to be honest. I just been like focus on my music and focus on like business. Have you gotten down to oh, I mean, I've, or visit I've, or? Yeah. Does he not work at his dad's investment firm anymore? I don't yeah, think that that's happened. over. Yeah, I've, I've, I'd get down to sequence, you know, I go there weekly. That's good. I'm a homebody, but I still know how to have fun. I'm not yeah. a weirdo, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, actually. Mm, what are you f like now? I think you're a weirdo. Yeah. Madison reached out to me and said they're doing like a bridal shower. Is that what you say? Like yeah, a bridal, bridal shower. shower. That's, that's yeah, like those are words that you can put together. Like, I'm so disappointed in you. So it would be a baby yeah, yeah, shower. Yeah, yeah, it would be exactly. a baby shower, a bridal shower. She's got a lot going on in her world. Right yeah, I know. Now. She's got, that's a lot, you know? Life's moving forward. Maybe he's confused because it's a baby and a bridal shower. Fine, yeah, yeah, fine. I get it. All growing up. Yeah. That's what you call real. it. Growing up. I, I'm, I'm aware that there's going to be people there that, you know, probably don't 
have the best like energy with me right now, but I just want to be a good friend. So to get back around everybody and, and just be there most importantly for Madison. I really want to show up and just support her because she supported me throughout our differences, our breakup, everything. She's always supported me, but I know that, you know, Camilla's going to be there. Um, I know Jordana's going to be there. I don't want my presence and me showing up leading to some drama and that sort of ruins her party. You, know, you want to be there for Madison. You shouldn't have other things stop you from being there for... Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly. It. Exactly. That's it. If anybody says anything to you and you don't feel like talking about it, just go, you know what? I didn't come here to talk about that. No tonight. anger. Came no. here to celebrate Madison. That should, that should work. Yeah. She's like, I wish you would just tell me it's okay not to go. Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> We're just waiting. Thank you so much. We look amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you. So how are you feeling? I'm good. I'm just glad to have you helping me do this because I honestly could not do this alone. And all the events I've seen you do with Sam is just incredible. Hopefully I can make life a lot easier for you. I'm here for, for anything you need. Thank so you. let's okay. dig into it right away. Okay. Um, now, will Ish be a part of the venue spotting? Or? No, no, he okay. won't be able to get here until October. Okay. No Ish. Um, <laughs> But mostly leaving it up to you. <laughs> okay. 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 So I'm gonna write down a guest list today. Okay. And then what else can I do, like ASAP? There's just so many elements. Okay. So we last spoke, and you told me about some venues that you wanted me to look yeah. into. Ringling being number one. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not available. Okay. I reached out to the Ritz. They're also not available. Okay. Okay. I mean, those are not the only two places. I looked into Lido B. Brandon's dad's house, available. <laughs> Sam's house, available. How do you envision the flow of everything? We can go as grand as you want to go. We can go as small as you want to go. Romantic looking versus modern and clean. The layout, the tables. Some people like long feasting tables. Some Long feces tables. <laughs> I don't like those. Who would want that? Spike. Spike the turtle? <laughs> likes to eat his own Spike's gross. We can do rounds. I worry about putting everyone together in this group. Okay. It's okay to have a little bit of separation. Got it. <laughs> She's like, your friends are toxic? Okay. <laughs> no, Oh, they have to hang out together for the TV show you're on? Right, I've never had to deal with that before. Party with you? I think I'd like them to be with me. So that's me. another thing to think about. Are you planning on doing save the dates and specialty dances? Um, Did you get any chance to look at your cake, your food, yeah. photographer, videographer? Like, can you let me answer these questions? <laughs> Photographer. I did not. So that's another thing to think about. Alcohol, DJ, yeah. songs for bridal party for reception. Oh my god. There's so many things that I wouldn't even think and about. We can also create like a wedding website. So that's another thing to think about. No, no, no. You do it, okay? I'm paying you to do it. I love one. Yeah. Caterer. I need to schedule tastings, go over menus. I am not a foodie. So this is something I wish Ish could be here for. Did you bring anything? Is there anything wish in your binder? Ish. Anything that you need to show me? I, let me show you my bridesmaid's yes. dresses. Okay. Okay, let me. This is going to take me a minute to find. Sorry. Do you have a budget in mind or? I mean, my, I don't have a budget initially off the bat. I don't mm, want something crazy. You need a budget. Crazy Tip number one. But I, I want it to be the day of my dreams. You know? With that being said, we really have to nail down a lot. <gasps> We'll keep you far I'm away from the drama. completely out of the drama, and I'm completely fine with Who it. is this guy? Does he do crypto Smash. with Mike? What? We hooked up. <laughs> oh. What? Who hooked up? Jordana. And this new crypto dealer? Yes. Oh, oh dude, you oh are God. not Grind. giving me great vibes. What are, what are those? Together we can literally do anything. Is that the cake they made? Yeah, they That's got their own spin-off. Impressive. Spin These two. Wait, stop. No, they did not. That would be a really good idea though. If Kara actually bakes and Jordan is the artist. Yeah, and they were opening up a bakery. Uh-huh. Sold. How are we doing the place is straight? Madison, what do you think the baby is? I'm going baby Madison. You're going in. Baby ish, yeah. Oh. Oh my god, this guy looks like Jonathan Swerdlin. He literally came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. 
You guys look awesome. This is Mitch. Hi. Mitch. What's up, Jordan? Mitch. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, these Mitch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I guess Camilla like definitely wasn't going to focus on Amanda and Will anymore. I know we talked about me and Will. We are watching movies at my house. You know, it's definitely a little bit weird, but I don't want to stand in the way of anything. And honestly, also, I have a little new thing. His name's Mitchell, aka Pretty Boy Mitch. <laughs> Pretty Boy Mitch. <laughs> we also made the cake that you'll see. That's you guys are so sweet. Well, we're gonna grab a drink at the bar. He's like, you remember when we looked up? <laughs> Likewise. Awkward. Does she not know? I don't know. You that you guys used to bang a ring. Mm. Bang a ring? Don't say that. This is here. Oh! Hi, beautiful. Maybe I love that you wore this dress. Hello, man. Surprise. Surprise, I'm Michael. We've never met. Such a cute baby face. The whole cast. Hey guys. You ready? Wanna hit some beats over here? Good, I have to sit down. Now. My feet were killing me. So is Ish working right now? He's in LA working on a couple pilots of his own. Really? Good luck, Ish. Awesome. Oh my god, Sam. Look at the biggest gift. Present. This present Sam's bringing in. What's up? What's up? Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chloe, you're such a hater. Just immediately. We were kind of hating too. Not like in a bad way. I mean, does he always have to get the biggest gift at every event? I'm hating, all right? It's enough, Sam. Hi. Hello, how are you? How are you? Oh, bye. Okay, we're definitely not my girlfriend anymore. It's over, anymore. it's over, it's <laughs> over. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. We just have like kind of like this cycle of like fighting and just got to the point where... Like moving in and moving out. I had been planning to move out because we were having problems. And I was hoping, you know, maybe that could through fix like the situation. It. Or just like make it easier on us. But I just don't, I just like, I don't want it to be everyone's business. I get that. What up, man? You got It's Mitch. I'm feeling good. I'm happy, honestly, that I could bring you at an event like this because there's no drama. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why? Some mixed opinions over here, but what? We have to. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. So, what's your like overall thoughts of the group? I love everybody. I get. I know half the people here anyway, so I get along with everybody. And... Yeah. Like he was just like a huge a hole. Oh really? Yeah. Like we hooked up, and then he like never talked to me again. There's no one that like rubs you off wrong. Rubs you rubs off, off wrong. I know you're from a different country, but no. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. We'll keep you far I'm away. I'm completely from the drama. out of the drama, and I'm completely fine with that. He told my friend that he like hooks up with girls and then like never talks to them again after that. Oh, you told I people that. Voice. That's cool. That's exactly what I need in my life. Ooh. Camilla. Bad radar. Yeah. A little underdressed, Brandon. if I may say so myself. Let's take a look. Yo, yo, what's good? Hi, Brandon. Hi. How are you? Oh. It's yeah, Brandon! So like she showed up to the all cast of that. <laughs> You're freaking out. Yeah. Uh, Am I gonna break up with this party? Do because every time I talk to you, it's like you don't listen to what I say. Oh, enough. Uh, no, no. Is anyone having it? No, she's such a bad actress. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. 
up? What up? Yo, yo, what's good? How are you? Yeah, I wanted to show up, you know. Show my support and my love. Did you know he was coming? Thank you for coming. My gift I sent to your house in LA. Thank so you. So don't think I came here. No, you. this is gift enough. Just having you here. I appreciate it. Are you uh, not going to say hi? Mm -hmm. I think you should say hi. He's not coming up to me. How's it going? You got the ice on? A little bit. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up, bro? What's up? I love your yeah, pastel outfit. Brandon, officially meet pleasure to meet you, man. Chris, heard good things about you. Yeah, likewise, John. Um, this feels weird right now, probably. Wait, Wait, how are you? How's it going? Beach. How you doing? I a friend named Beach. Mm. Somebody need a shot or two. <laughs> Everything good? You want a drink? Yeah, can I just have a water, please? Get in here. I'll call him out. For what? I'm just saying you're not going to say hi. Hey, Ben. Why don't you just go say hi? Yeah, you can't just stare at someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just be sort of hanging out. Doing like I feel thing, you. Know? I mean, that's completely behind you, isn't it? Yeah, and they just talked and we're fine. Are you not going to say hi to me? <laughs> what up, how you doing? This is Mitch, Brandon. How you doing, man? Mitch, nice to meet you. Likewise. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I just feel like he owes me an apology before you can come, like, give me a hug. Like, last time I saw him was in New York when he did all that. Like, I feel bad that you're in this situation, but, like, I think he owes me an apology first. He's not really, like, owning up to him at all. All right, guys. Do you want to find out what the baby is? Okay, first I just want to say thank you guys for coming out. This is really amazing to have everyone here celebrating. I wish Ish were here, but I have everyone I love here and that means the world to me. And thank you, Kelsey, Jordana, and Kara for putting this together. It's amazing. So yeah, should we find out? Yeah! Yeah! We are having a baby boy! Oh! Hi! Wait, did he just say, do you want a hug or whatever? Oh my god. Valentine's Day. Oh you don't my have a God. watch that. You know? Sam, this is insane. How? You wanna break up or what? I feel bad. I feel like they've been like kind of neglected. Like, you know, before I would wake up, walk on, you'd wake up, walk on. I'm gonna bring him to like a dog park tomorrow, I think. I don't care. What are you talking about, man? All right, like, can we hurry up so I can dump you but make you think you're dumping me? Let's get that over with. Thanks. <laughs> Do you want to talk about like everything going on? Like it's kind of weird with us in public settings at the moment. I just feel like we haven't had a serious conversation. Like maybe you guys should go outside. Maybe you guys should nope. go outside. I just feel like it's always so surface when we talk. <laughs> when you say that, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't I mean, know what to do because every time I talk to you, it's like you don't listen to what I say. <laughs> I, feel. I do hear how you feel, baby, but like it's kind of like I don't. I love you very much, but like I don't think that's really fair. Like you know, you have the conversation of like, hey, let's not go out. And then the next day, oh, let's go on the yacht. Like I'm just out. I'm out of the phase of drinking too much. You're out of the phase. Like I don't want that anymore. You've been out like more so than me this week. I don't really want to, I, I like, I don't want to do this right now because I am really emotional, obviously. So, I don't want to cry right now. Okay. Bye. Mm, ooh, hat choice. She's like, you were right, so I'm now gonna end this conversation. <laughs> Coming up, you guys are good, and then you're bad, and it's good and bad, and good and bad, and good and bad, and that. I mean, Clay, like, like, I love you, but also you like not want to really judge relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love you, Chloe, but could you also shut the f up? Thank you, Sam. The side of your personality that we like. Yeah. Doing good. No. I don't know. I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. 
sorry, one of the sides of your personalities that we like. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say the side. Corrected and noted. Just break up and Blake and don't cry. I'm always having to do this in front of everyone. No, hey, just guess what? Nobody sees you right now. Yeah, you're just and no one even notices. You're just talking to your friends. Nobody cares. She's like, wait, nobody notices? <laughs> She's the only one. I just cut my face a little more. I'm saying myself. Yeah. Like, can we not do that? Or like, can this be about Madison and not like Sam and Julia fighting in the corner? They don't care. And then you got good old Chloe over there, barefoot Chloe. <laughs> Look at this. Her and her boyfriend are both <laughs> no shoes on here. They don't have shoes on? <laughs> they needed to get cut away. Oh my God, how <laughs> did they not? They want to be one with the earth. That's the earth. Do, do you think she's improved at all as a human or what? Hey, just breathe. Just break up and break them now. Thank you, right? If you disagree with her, she's gonna turn on you and attack you. And I think no matter how much of a front she puts, she's not gonna change. I know. That one bit. It's no, just, I agree with that. And I agree with that 100%. Yeah, cheers yeah. to Bland. Mm -hmm. Now we know how you guys feel. It's like. Madison, what's up? How are you? <laughs> Absolutely, for sure. I just really wanted to show support. Like, you've always shown support for me, regardless of our differences and regardless of anything that we're both going through. It means the world. Why did they break up? He cheated on her. Oh, right, yeah. right, right, right. Absolutely, it was very important for me to show up. And you know, I, I don't know what everyone else has been doing for like the last month or so. But yeah, I know, you've been was, off the radar. Yeah, it was just important for me to show up. Do you feel like taking your time away from everyone has been like helpful? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Good. I just trying to stay a little more private, figure out myself, just get around family and yeah. straighten some things out in, in my head. Good I just, for you. No, it's been good. It's been really good. good for you. I don't, I don't, he's just been hiding from his problems. Mm -hmm. Hanging out with us again. Yeah, absolutely. For yeah. sure. What's up? <laughs> Mentally, it's good. Yeah, I've actually been, you know, I mean, there's a lot going on. I know, yeah. <laughs> the pregnancy, a wedding, Absolutely. you know, going back and forth between here in LA and like doctor visits, but I feel like I really am in a good place. I know it's a lot right now, you know, but you're very blessed. Yeah. Decompress a little bit. Yeah. Stay there, stay in that yeah. place you're at right now. It's all wonderful things, and so none of it's worth having stress over. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It took me a lot to learn that. and. I'm still learning, but... <laughs> you've, you've, been, you've been the mom before you were the mom, you know? So yeah. I'm, I'm super excited for your journey. Thank you very much. They, they, the show loves to make that relationship happen. That friendship. A lot of people are wearing that hat. Hi, Sammy. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? We didn't really get to speak much when I walked in. I you know. Doing? We match. I know. We do. I love it. The blue eyes going with it. Sure, guys. Exactly. Later. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Mike, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he doesn't align with my energy, so when I'm around, he can't handle it. You just like bounce off there? Yeah, that's so the truth. Nice, yeah. So, how are you doing? Um, I'm fine. Like, obviously, it's like been weird and like the back and forth thing with me and Juliet. And like, I know you're obviously gonna have Juliet's side, which is fine, but like, it's just been like kind of two months, and I don't want to halfway do a relationship. I'm 30 years old, but like, she tells me, like, oh, I don't like when you go out this out. But I don't think this is about the partying. I think you guys are good, and then you're bad, and it's good and bad, and good and bad, and yeah. good and bad, and that. I mean, Clay, like, like, I love you, but also you, like, not want to really judge relationships. You can't stop me now. She's like, that is my purpose for a living. So what do you mean by that? <laughs> Friends, I love you, but you can, you know, have, like, some I'm not fun. judging. I'm standing here with my friend giving him advice. Mm, I don't like your energy. Mm -hmm. uh, please go away from me. Work together. On advice. Just go away. Yeah. Is that possible? <laughs> you can keep it. All right. The breakup is definitely yeah. going down right now, right? Yeah. He didn't shave. He's ready right, to dump. I'm good. Yeah. Do you want to talk? Yeah, he's like, I got all my necklaces on. I'm back in my spot. I'm <laughs> super relaxed right now. Um. Shh. Shh. I. 
I'm ready to cry. I just feel like obviously there's been like a lot of um, drama, like disconnect between us, and I don't know why. I don't know. Uh, because you moved out. It's weird. Like I try to do so much for you, and like I go out of my way to support your business, try to be there in any way I can, and you just kind of are like. Oh, whatever, everything's awesome and fine, and it's just like, I don't know, like weird to me. You're weird. I hear you, mm -hmm. um, but you're not perfect. Ooh. Like, there's something that's not sinking between us, and. Did yeah, you say he was wrong? Kind of, I don't know, kind of like surface. It's just like we are not like clicking or like. I don't know, you know what you mean by that. I mean, how not? Like, you honestly just like. What do you mean, surface? If we're gonna be in a relationship, we have to be in communication. Where if one person isn't okay with something, then the other has to understand that. You always say that, but it's like kind of really hypocritical, honestly. Like, if you do something, it's fine. And if I do something, it's like I'm like a hatchet murder or something. I wanna be on the same page as you. We have to be on a realistic same page. Like, you should ask me. <laughs> I'm super drunk right now. Is that okay? And like slap someone or something or what? Ah! Uh, she was about to laugh. Yeah. I don't know. I just. Do you even want to try? No. I mean, I just don't see like a future to tell you the truth. Mm, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, neither do you, Julia. Mm -hmm. But if she's like, I know, yeah, me too, bye. <laughs> No, she's going to leave angry. Can I walk you out? I hope it's in his name. Or do we? Like, if you buy someone a gift and then you break up, you don't get the gift back. I would probably give it back. I wouldn't feel comfortable taking it. Unless the guy really screwed me over, then I would keep, keep it. it. Yeah. Uh, he, he. Just straight up bought the car, put it in her name and gave it to her? Or do you think he like leased it and lets her use it? Or like? That's a really good question. Mm. Ask chat GPT. Maybe he bought it for her and she pays the lease. No. You've had a glimpse of that light situation, Julia. It's crazy, right? We try sleeping with that shit. With, try with the uh, at nighttime. Daniel Blau Rogi did not bring his A game. Just kidding. He did. Skills, film, skills, film. Like, I wonder what he did for that episode. <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna move in together, or what are your thoughts? I don't see a new girlfriend anytime soon. Maybe we end up dating, like... Me and you? Everything he's been posting on social media, I'm not gonna pretend like you guys haven't seen it. He's making it so public. It's time to just start inviting other girls around. Is this the infamous Megan? Ooh. Ah. Here comes Megan for a few episodes. I mean, that was major. Like, they just broke up. They've been dating for two seasons or some shite. They've been needing to break up for so long yeah, now, so it's, it's like it's a true. little anticlimactic. Long but time coming. I'm excited to see what the Megan's fallout. all about. And yeah, the fallout. Thank you, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Timmy cut his thumb on a knife, and it seems to be lasting a long time. It was the tiniest little cut. It barely even bled, but it's like right on the tip of my thumb. So like anytime I touch something, mm -hmm. like, you know, mm -hmm. you know that feeling? It's like one of those spots where you don't even realize how often All this the time. area is being like All in contact time. with something. And you can't type on your phone with this Band-Aid, so I've switched to typing one thumb and one forefinger. <laughs> I feel very like my dad. Peace in the streets, you guys. We're gonna do a double header, but we're gonna take a little breather. Please remember to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Smile at a stranger. Become a member. And become a member.